If you wait, your ball will be great. <laughs> Vamos. Goed bro, kom je in. If you know that you're doing something wrong, you're always a step in front of the people that doing something incorrect and they're not aware of that. Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are in Krijgwanstad. We are paddle and we're going to work on Jackie's bandeja defense and volleys. And the secret is going to be the preparation and you're going to find out right now. And we're going to start. Bam. Bam. Okay, so uh, Jackie, I want to improve a little bit your defense yeah. and your bandeja. Uh, we did some exercise, some drills that I also posted on Instagram, so you can have a look on Otro Nivel. I think Jacqueline has a very good control of the racket, and now it's time to control the speed a little bit more. So sometimes, if uh, I think if you play like slower, sometimes it's actually harder. Yep. Um, we're going to go deep into the preparation. That's my plan. Uh, and the rest I don't know yet. <laughs> so we'll see what's going to happen. Uh, we start at the back. So Jackie, if you can start at the back, yep. we play a rally. I'm going to play volleys and you try to use the wall as much as possible. Okay. Yeah? Uh, come in! important I think is the positioning okay I wouldn't place the cone here now but always go back to this position so if you're at home always go back to this position okay even though you have to, you don't have a paddle court in your house so if Jackie is here can you be here Jackie? Yep. so my goal at the net would be to play between you and the glass okay. so that the ball remains between so you have to go back yeah so because if i play like fast follies the ball comes back you don't even have to move you wait and you play the ball back so now i am going to play the soft ball behind the line and then you try to go back with the ball to the glass you go back close to the glass you hit okay. and then you recover yep that's the goal right come in How much percentage is this easier? A hundred. A hundred, yeah. <laughs> yeah so is. now it was way easier. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the most important thing. Because sometimes you went back, super bueno, great, and then you stay here. Yeah. And then if the next ball is there and they play fast, I have zero time to get the ball from the glass. So this is um, important. I play backhand. Um, you go around the cone and I play forehand. So I'm going back with the preparation. So the preparation is the first thing to do. Okay, we start with some forehand. Yes, go around. So try to hit the cones and I put the cones like close over the net so you can only play soft. Yeah. Yeah? I can see here. Yes. So I can ask Jackie to play soft or I can ask her to play there. It's the same thing. My racket is somewhere. Behind you. So this is also a good one to play on the back end of this player. Sometimes they're even here. Then I cannot hurt you that much. If you, there are a lot of players they play here and then you remain defending. you do with the wrist much much yeah can you try to play more 
like this, without the wrist. Yep. And I think it will become easier if you wait until the ball is in front. Oh, yep. So if you feel like you're using your wrist, it could be that you're hitting the ball too early. Yep. So behind you. So this is the only sport where you have to be too late and too lazy. Because if you are too late, you hit the ball in front and it's, you play it without the wrist and it's easier. Yes. Open the racket. Ready? Open the racket. Nice. Okay, uh, this is a little bit about the footwork. So if I go and defend my forehand and I am here, I can only play there. So when I go back, I go with my foot here, 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 and then when I hit, I'm here. Okay. Because here I can play everywhere. I can play there, I can play there, yeah. and from here, if I want to play there, I'm stuck. Yeah, exactly. So it's the same with the back end to be. Or to, open. Yes, so to search if I have a back end, I'm going to search with my foot, bum, 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 and then I'm here. So I can have all the directions. If it's a forehand, I'm here, pop of a bomb, and then when I'm play, I'm like this. Okay. Like yep. I'm on the surfboard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I've never surfed before, so maybe giving the wrong information. Yeah. The ball is here, and this is there. So uh, this is something I call mirroring. So you mirror the height of the ball with the height of the preparation. Because if like if the the ball's high, you want to prepare higher than the ball, pump. Lower than the ball, low. Yes, it would be better if it's already there. Okay. Can you already be there? So now you prepare it. Then I play the ball. So now you I prepare take it back. It. Yeah. Yeah, you can only go back once. Okay, we're back. Here. Yes. Okay, like this. And you can only go forward. Yep. Ah! Yes. It's stuck in my brain. <laughs> yeah, but it's a big difference. Yeah. So this is the one. Play some balls for me. So if you give me a minute. Good. So I'm here, I'm here, and wait, I play. That's it. Oh. So I'm here, like maybe for two seconds, not moving the racket at all. I think that's the clue, the, the goal. Is If you wait, your ball will be great. <laughs> Vamos. Goed bro, kom in. So mostly if you want to learn something, you are unaware that you're doing something incorrect. And that can be super nice because you don't know you make the mistake. Uh, but you're losing the match. Then if you, if you do better, you are aware that you're making a mistake. This can be very frustrating because you know that you're doing something not right then you know you do something correctly and then you don't know that you're doing something correctly it's automatic so with the wrong tip your coach can actually make you play worse because you're doing something correctly that you were unaware of and that is the most easiest thing ever that you don't know what you're doing and you're doing it correctly because if you think about the motion it's always going to be harder so if you make enough shots you go from doing something aware and correctly to unaware correctly um, so if you know that you're doing something wrong you are in step two so remember you're always a step in front of the people it's a gun uh, that doing something incorrect and they're not aware of that and sometimes when you make mistakes it's going to be very very annoying deal with that <laughs> so now the same and try to follow with the arm and not with the hand Vamos. So you have a lot of control in your volley. What I can say about your volley is that you hit the ball and the ball bounces back over the, se over the line. Okay. So the second bounce is over the line. Okay. Which can make it dangerous because they can take it back. I think your volley would be even better if your ball remains behind the white line. Yes, it doesn't bounce back. 
Yes, so we need like a ball that is there. The ball that we have, we are training there to solve. So the ball between me and the glass. Okay. So I'm, we're going to play a rally, Vicky, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to move. Okay. So if I am here, you play an amazing volley. Yeah. If I can defend without moving, it's too easy. Okay. This is the one. Yeah, okay. yeah. This is the one. Yeah. This is too easy. Yeah. 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 So this is the volley that we need. Yeah. We need to add a little bit of slice into the volleys. So try to do the same. Sometimes the I think the acceleration you're already doing is good. But there is a big difference in this and this. Cut. So one forehand, one backhand, you try to cut the volley. If you play the forehand volley, the yeah. top of the racket should face a little bit to the fence at the back. Yeah, more like this. Yes. And then from there you cut. Cut. Yeah. yeah. yeah? Cut. <laughs> yeah. In Holland we say it's a cut volley. Cut, cut volley. Yeah. Yeah. behind the cone. Okay. Yes, because then I have to move back. Yep. Ah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> nice. 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 Okay, perfect. The only thing I can say is that when you play a back in folly, you go here. So you go to Sasha. Okay. And you want to play there, so it would be better to stand and to Over. step with your feet a little bit to the corner. Yeah, okay, more. Yes, this more like this. Piece. There's a big difference between this and this. Okay, yep. yeah. Yeah, I really like that one. Yeah. Wow. If we do this, then sometimes it's hard to control the speed so if we go from closer to longer we can slow down the swing have more control and also bring it down more yeah. uh, that's even better yes follow through with the racket yes follow through with the racket nice long yes follow through long yes follow through long better Let's say we hit here on this piece. Yep. The preparation should come a little bit from here. Okay, so a little bit higher. So a little bit higher. Okay. And it's okay to end low. There. Yes. So you can cut it a little bit more. So try to prepare higher than the ball yep. and to go down and forwards at the same time. I can do everything and now it's lower than my knee so you're in control of the rally maybe sometimes we have to make it a little bit softer because some people they find it easier to block the ball if you play fast and some people are really struggling if you play with more effect so they try to take it but because of the effect it's super weird so for some players this is amazing and we try to have both options Yes, that's nice. Yes, that's nice. Yes. Super. 
if they are very good in blocking the ball, they cannot block if you play in the center. Because if you play here, it's I am never able to get it before the glass. They are forced to play with the ball. Yeah. And if you play like this low, below, below knee high, they are going to be in trouble. Yeah. yeah. But if you play, if you start cross courts, they think, oh, we're going to take it before the ball. Yeah. Now we do a few bandejas. And we do the same. So we, we have the record already ready, already, already ready. Um, and then from there, we go long. Yes. Like this. So you keep it frozen. go here and then when you hit you go here okay so we want you to stay there, there. I'm here bandeja and I cut so now it's rotating backwards I play and then it bounces and you cut okay this is completely different yeah. this is your bandeja okay this one yes <laughs> And I felt it like. Do a few more. Okay. Yeah? Ah, yes, I like it. And then yeah. high for low. Yes. Look how much back spin. Yeah. Again. Yes. It feels like I don't have control, but I do. But no, it's super. Okay. And now try to do it without the bounce. The same motion. What we do is we do two balls, you let it bounce, you play bandeja, and then I'm playing a normal, the same ball, but then without the bounce. And you copy the same motion. Because in the beginning you were going like, will follow to a bandeja, and then it was becoming too fast. Yeah. If you can stick with your will follow to a bandeja, yeah. we're gonna be fine. Okay, great. <laughs> okay. Let it bounce. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, then let us know below. And we're nearly at 20,000 subscribers, so please, please, please subscribe because 20,000 subscribers was the end goal of this year. So thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Hasta luego, ciao, adios.